Okay, so this is the spectrophotometer right here, the spectrophotometer machine that we'll be using. And here we have some samples, and these include five samples right here that have uh, solutions in it of different, actually known concentrations. And this is the uh, water blank right here that we're going to use to go ahead and, uh, and, and set up the um, machine. So let's go ahead and go over how you would use this. Okay, so once again, here's your machine. The sample goes in here. We're gonna put these samples right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these and put them in here. We're gonna line up the little arrow with, there's a line right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little line right there. So you're gonna point the arrow forward when you use it. And the way you use this is the following. You close the cover here on the sample container. Make sure you have the right wavelength first here. I have it set to, it should be set to 700. If it's not set to 700, uh, set it to 700, but it should already be on 700, okay? So there's a couple of knobs in the front. There is the zero knob and the 100 knob. The zero knob is 0% uh, transmittance. That's when the uh, shutter is closed inside the machine. Basically, there is a light source over here. And this light source, actually, yeah. Uh, the light source is actually on this side. Uh, but the light is shot across the sample to uh, this, in this direction. And there is a detector over here behind the sample. And the detector is going to try to detect how much of the light goes through it. In other words, how much got absorbed, right? So you guys will read that over here. Now, when this is empty and closed, the shutter is closed, so there should be, it should read zero. If it does not read zero, what you do is you go to the zero button and move it over. You dial it until it reads zero zero on the percent transmittance. Notice that this has two scales on it. The top scale is percent transmittance. The bottom scale is absorbance. It's much easier to read the percent transmittance. So we go, uh, we take our readings on the top scale, the percent transmittance. The bottom one has decimals and it's not, uh, the uh, gaps are not the same. It's not a linear, you say it's not a linear scale. On the other hand, the top is pretty easy. It's all linear. Um, then we will turn our percent transmittance to absorbance later. But you make sure that this is zero. So if it's not zero, you just go ahead and move the knob until it gets to zero. Once again, it's that knob on the left. Now that's zero. Then you go ahead and get your water blank. This is the water blank. This is just nothing but water at this point right here. Okay. And you're going to put that in here. Once again, you point the um, the frosted arrow pointing towards you and you can clean it with a lens wipe here we have some lens wipe i'm not doing it because i'm using one hand for the camera and the other for the um for for the uh sample right here but if you if anybody touches this with oils the oils could also go ahead and abs absorb some light so you want to clean it before you put it in there then you go ahead and put it in it fits nicely in there close the lid and this should read 100, and if it does not read 100, if it's not lined up all the way at the end, what you do is you go ahead and go down to the second knob, the 100 knob, and you dial that until your percent transmittance reads 100. Okay, so the left knob, you set it to zero uh, with nothing in there. Um, and then the right knob, you use the right knob to set it to 100 when you use the water blank. Okay. Now basically, uh, any, any, uh, any light that was taken up by the water will not be, um, will not be taken into account. Then you can go ahead and get one of your samples. Here's one. And once again, you could clean it with the uh, lens wipes. With one lens wipe, you can clean it. Once again, you go ahead and point it so that the frosting is pointed toward you. You put it inside the machine, close that, and you read the percent absorbance. Here you got about, what, 17? 
looks to be about 17. So you take that down, 17 of the percent transmittance. Um, absorbance looks to be about 0.7, I don't know, 0.78 or so, but it's hard to read the absorbance scale. That's why we go with percent transmittance. It's easier to read the percent transmittance. And there's a formula that'll, that I'll tell you about that we'll go ahead and convert it to um, absorbance. Okay. So now you can go ahead and take out your sample. Put it back, go for another sample if you want, uh, and then put these in, uh, put it away. Okay, so there's the operation of the Spectronic 20 Plus spectrophotometer.